So Elon Musk has had his presentation thing where he has shown the future, what he thinks is the future, with three separate products that are coming to market apparently. Uh, and, you know, I will believe it when it actually happens because Musk loves to promise something and then not deliver like autonomous driving every, coming next year, every year for like the past eight or 10 years or something. So, you know, I'll believe it when I see it actually out in the world doing stuff. But for now, the products are interesting and do look kind of cool. We can see uh, the first thing was this thing here it was the uh robo van so basically just like self-driving robo taxi thing but for a lot of people right so a lot bigger uh like a bus basically right so uh this uh, would be like public transport thing i think we had similar things with the uh, uber talking about like basically making bringing back public transport and buses but in a uh, uber fashion so we've come full circle on these things where it's just like public transit and stuff it's turning into that again so maybe it'll make it better and be great that'll be a, a, a good thing right and hopefully that is the case right because public transit or or like buses and stuff have been not great for a while so if you can improve that that is a great thing and this is the inside of this uh robo van so uh it looks you know, futuristic, it's got screens, it's got everyone facing each other and stuff, so instead of, like, all facing one way, face each other. Now, that'd be kind of weird, right, because if you're driving and you're sitting here and it's moving backwards and you're driving that way, uh, it might feel a little weird, right? So that would be kind of interesting to see what that feels like. Uh, seems like a cool thing, but I don't know how much I would believe that this is ready to go and coming to market just because Elon Musk loves to say stuff is coming when it's really not. So we'll see what happens, right? I'm a little bit skeptical on the, the, the stuff coming out here and the, the showroom stuff that it was on was all kind of a set, uh, something where they could make sure and have like a controlled environment and get it to work. So when you put it in the real world, it becomes a lot more difficult to actually get these things to work. So we'll see what happens. His next thing was this uh, Robo Taxis, right? So this this video doesn't show up, but he gets in, it drives off, takes a left turn again in a kind of simulated thing, a prepared thing. Uh, it's not the real world, so I'm still skeptical. I mean, people hear <laughs> Robo Taxis job cut for drivers is necessary. I don't know if you think it's like the worst thing in the world, uh, but I think that this thing autonomous driving and robo taxis robo vans all this stuff is a massive over promising thing that is like you know this is going to change the world when it'll probably make things easier more convenient but i don't know if it's going to become all of a sudden everyone owns a tesla and everyone runs it for robo taxi services and makes money doing this stuff i i just don't know and for the, this robo taxi stuff some of the things saying like autonomous transport cheap is 20 cents per mile so it brings the cost down a ton it does uh, uh makes it a lot easier to get stuff done a lot cheaper to get stuff done but again i will believe it when i see it but the biggest product reveal or thing that probably everyone would be more most excited about because this is old news self-driving cars robo taxi network is old news uh so the biggest one is the humanoid robot product this is what everyone's talking about what everyone's going crazy about and what is supposedly the future that every single person in the world is going to want but fundamentally at scale at the optimus robot you should be able to, to buy an optimus robot for I think probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and, and and what can it do? It can it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of. It will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind yeah. so the biggest product ever of any kind that is the plan here for the humanoid robot 
um, twenty to thirty thousand dollars for it. So no cheap feat, right? Uh, to say like everyone's gonna want one, it's just a an easy thirty grand. I mean, that's a little over the top, right? He compares it to a car, be like, oh, it's gonna be cheaper than a car or the same price as a car. Uh, but people need cars to get a, get to places. You won't need this robot to you know do your laundry and do your chores at home you can do that yourself because if you don't have the money right if you had the money you'd hire a maid right so uh and that doesn't cost thirty thousand dollars so um this is i think it's crazy when he says what the tam is with the total addressable market whenever he talks about these robots is that it's every single human on earth i think this tweet says here yeah so this um this is the same video, but he talks about it here saying he expects the cost $30,000 and be desired by every human on earth. So that's like a uh, a weird thing to say, right? When someone says the, the, the total addressable market is every single person on earth and you say, oh, well, you know, we're going to make so much money because we can simply just sell one robot at $30,000 to every single person on earth. So 30,000 times 8 billion that's trillions and trillions of dollars, right? Maybe even more than that. So this could be a massive product. I feel like that's something that you don't want to hear, right? When, you, when you're when you pitching ideas and getting ideas pitched to you, you don't want someone to say, oh, well, our, our TAM is every single person on earth. Like, well, you didn't actually dig into your product then because no one on earth wants everything, right? Even, you know, a car... Not every single person on earth you can sell it to, right? Every single person on earth could use a car probably, but not every single person on earth owns a car. So you can't just do that and multiply and say, if you're Toyota, say, oh, we're going to multiply our average car sale by $8 billion. That's how much money we could make. <laughs> no one would buy that. And the even weirder thing is uh, a little dystopian from uh, the one of the things that he said it could be. And that's saying that this could be your friend. And that is super dystopian of what, where are we going? We already have this this problem with people using OpenAI and ChatGBT and these AI talking things to be f like be friends with and talk to them like they're friends. And it's like, it's just, we're going down this weird path and it's dystopian to say, uh, we can't even talk to people in real life. We're talking to AIs on a computer. It's like... I mean, it's just, it's like, it's weird. It's dystopian. It's not great, I don't think. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is awesome. That's what they trained. Optimist. People here today. It's insane. It's even talking. Say hi to my friend John. John? Where's John? Right here. Oh, hello, John. How are you? How are you doing? That's crazy. Where I'm talking to a robot. Uh, from San Jose. Probably from where you were from where you were born in uh, the that, Silicon Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you live in Almond Valley or do you live in the yeah. Santa Teresa area? Or? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos. Oh, wonderful. Very yeah. Nice area. Where do you live? There's beautiful hiking out here out there. There is. Where do you live? Um, I live in Palo Alto at the current moment. Figures. Yeah, yes. this is this is awesome. That's where they train us. That's where we get our bills, and that's where we work though. Wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> so we here we have a conversation going on, and that last part is great. It kind of crazy, right? Saying this this robot saying, "What's the hardest part?" And coming out and saying, "Oh, to try and be as human as you are." Like, okay, a little weird right? This is like robots taking over and stuff. <laughs> it's just like, okay. I mean, I guess it's normal like answer and stuff, but it feels kind of weird. It feels like, okay, well, maybe we're pushing things a little far here, but a conversation stuff. So obviously this has come a long way from where it once was the first time. But again, like I will believe it when I see it out in the market and actually out there, like, We've been promised robo taxis and self driving next year, every year for the past decade, and that didn't happen. So I don't like to just take Elon at his word uh, because it's normally just not happening. And maybe there are a lot more people more skeptical like that because the stock of Tesla 
didn't respond great to this live stream. It went down, down 11% at $219 a share. And that's for that's for the week. But today, we could even see down 8% today, $218. So Tesla uh, investors or the stock not responding too well to this, this live stream. People maybe not believing it or it didn't blow people away that because things are priced to perfection. And if people aren't like, wow, I can see every single human on earth buying one of those, then it goes down, right? So uh, Tesla not actually responding well to that. So maybe the people aren't uh, aren't too hyped up about it, aren't thinking that it's going to be the next big thing in the future, even though it might be, right? People can be wrong. But again, I'm skeptical and I'll believe it when I see it, when we see it in the real world and, and don't, aren't promised that it's coming next year. Let me know what you think. Are you dying to get an Optimus robot and need it to be your friend and do your household chores? Or is it an interesting thing to see, you know, going on in the stream, but you're not quite there on spending $30,000 on it. That's gonna do it for this video. As always, do me a smash button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.